Okay. Can't see me. Hi. I'm Scott. Sorry about this. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Stark side. While you're here, I do appreciate it if you support the channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe as well as the notification bell. So today we'll be talking about the Marvel Legends, the Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania's Ant-Man. So I just got back from vacation, so this review might be coming in a bit late. Anyway, so here we have Ant-Man in the windowless packaging for Marvel Legends. So at the front here, we get this nice movie logo for Quantum Mania. And at the top, we get an Avengers logo. At the side, we get some nice concept art of MCU Ant-Man. And at the other side, we get an image of the Cassie Lang Build-A-Figure, as well as a list of the figures for this wave. And at the back, we get this nice digital render of the figure, along with all the accessories that he comes with. Alright, let's get Ant-Man out of the packaging. When do you pick on someone your own size? So here we have Ant-Man. Now before we talk about the figure itself, let's go over the accessories. Despite being a part of a Build-A-Figure wave, Ant-Man doesn't come with any Build-A-Figure piece for Cassie Lang. So Ant-Man here comes with one pair of fisted hands, one pointy finger hand, one open palm hand, and an alternate masked head sculpt. And looking closely at these fisted hands, so these look nice. They're sculpted well, a bit disappointed at how simple they look. But other than that, no real complaints here. You also get these two unique hands, so I think Scott had this pointy hand pose when he calls out Kang during the climax of the film. And we also get this open palm hand, which looks nice. I do wish we got an entire pair of this open palm hand, but what do you expect? Typical Hasbro being Hasbro. And lastly, we get this awesome looking Ant-Man helmet that I find to be a major improvement over the last Ant-Man figure that we got from the second movie. So here, I love the glossy light and dark gray plastic that we get for this helmet piece. Um, comparing it with the previous Ant-Man helmet, so this is a serious major upgrade for me. I mean, the old Ant-Man helmet here had a lot of marbleization here, you know, as you can see. And we don't get any texturing on the helmet because if you look at this new helmet we get some texturing here on the dark gray plastic area of the piece which i think looks really good but now that i'm looking at it the old ant-man helmet actually had some texturing but it's not that prominent um compared to this new one here and i also love how glossy this new plastic that they're using on this new helmet so i do like that a lot and the best part about this helmet are the lenses. So if you haven't noticed yet, you can see Scott's eyes behind these red lenses. They did the same thing for the previous Wasp figure, but failed to do so for the previous Ant-Man figure. So this upgrade for me really sets this head sculpt apart. Before I put on the masked head sculpt for this piece here, so let's take a little closer look at the unmasked head sculpt. So I think this is a good Scott Lang head sculpt. I think it does a good job of capturing the likeness of Paul Rudd, who doesn't seem to age at all. I think it also looks slightly better than the previous Scott Lang head sculpt, which I still think is a very good piece. I will do a head swap of these two later in this video, so be sure to watch until the end of this review. And putting on the masked head sculpt, so here we have a fully suited up Ant-Man. And looking at the rest of the figure, so at first, I wasn't really a big fan of this particular design for the Ant-Man suit. I mean, I think it has a lot of, you know, way too much sculpted details, way too much details, you know. But after I saw that new comic Ant-Man figure with that circular design around the chest area, I became convinced that this new MCU design was modeled after that classic look. So I grabbed this piece as soon as I saw one with a good deal at Toy-Con. And I was really happy that I did because this piece feels very good and very, very fun to play with. Sculpt-wise, I think choosing a diaphragm pivot over an ab crunch really helps with the overall look and build of this figure. And I also like the proportions on this new piece more than the previous Ant-Man figure, especially around the shoulders and the chest area here. 
But like with the previous figure, we also get a lot of sculpted details on the body and a whole lot of texturing, which I think look very phenomenal. And as for the paint apps, I love how the red and the black paint apps feel a bit more flat and matte on this piece as compared to the ones on the previous figure, which had a slightly glossy feel to it. So I do like this uh, flat version more. So yeah, really happy that I got this piece because it feels really good to move, you know. It feels really good to play around with in your hand. I do have one minor gripe about the figure and I don't think it's a big thing or it's a deal breaker, but I just think that the feet kind of look a bit small on this piece. But yeah, it's not really that bothersome, but just something that I want to point out. Overall, I think the sculpt and paint apps on this figure look fantastic. Now let's go over the articulation for Ant-Man. So Ant-Man can look up that far that looks good and he can look down as well his head does rotate and we do get some nice neck pivot as well so by the way this neck articulation is the same with the unmasked head sculpt his arms can bend upward that far right at a 90 degree mark that looks great and he can bend them down all the way as well his shoulders do rotate 360 we get a bicep swivel pinless double jointed elbows his wrists do rotate and move up and down, so this wrist articulation is the same for all his alternate hands. He has a diaphragm pivot that allows him to move sideways, bend forward, backwards, and rotate side to side. His legs can kick forward that far and not so much backwards. His hips move outward very far. That looks great. He has an upper thigh cut, pinless double jointed knees. His ankles move up and down, and he has ankle pivot as well. Now for some figure comparisons, here's Ant-Man with the previous Ant-Man figure from the second movie. And doing a head swap of the unmasked head sculpts, I think both look really good on each other's body, so it's really possible to take photos of the smirking head sculpt with this new body here, and vice versa. And here's the new Ant-Man figure again with the previous Ant-Man figure and the Wasp figure from the second movie as well. I might hold off on getting the new Wasp figure for now, but who knows? Anyway, I think this new piece scales up pretty well with Wasp here. And here's Ant-Man next to some other MCU figures that I have. So we have Iron Man and Captain America. So that's my review of the Marvel Legends Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania's Ant-Man. So I think this figure has a decent amount of accessories, phenomenal sculpt, superb paint apps, and great articulation. So yeah, I'm really loving this figure. And if you're wondering where I got this figure, so I got this figure from ToyCon Philippines 2023. So if you want to check out my vlog of that event, I'll add a card up here as well as a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know what you think of my review. Please leave a comment below. And if you like this video, I do appreciate it if you support the channel by hitting that like button. And if you still haven't, please hit that subscribe as well as the notification bell. You can also follow me on social media, links in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.